Hi, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Erica. Thank you so much for clicking on my video. I would love to have you subscribe, like, comment, and if you're returning, welcome back. Thank you so much for being here. So in today's video, I thought it would be really fun to recreate this look. Um, I did this look last week when I went to work and I had a ton of compliments on it. So I just thought it'd be fun to recreate it in front of you guys. Um, I used the Spotlight palette from You Can Be. This is one I got from Amazon. I think it was like 12 or $13. And this is the color story. It's just a beautiful rainbow color story. Um, I know there's a ton of colors in here, but I just wanted to focus on like a pastel uh, look for summer. I used um, the blues and the purples and some pinks and obviously go into more detail when I'm actually creating the look. But yeah, I just really enjoy this palette. It's very inexpensive and I don't really hear very many creators talking about this brand or this palette. So I thought it would just be fun to let you guys get to know it because it's a wonderful palette, I think. Um, and I figured also while I'm doing this look, I would share with you guys some of my most embarrassing moments. I am a champion faller. Um, if falling were an Olympic sport, I would win every gold medal every single time, no doubt about it. Um, I have fallen several times out in public, uh, absolutely embarrassed myself, and I just thought it would be fun to share these moments with you guys. So if you're interested to see how this eye look turns out and also hear about my most embarrassing falls, please sit back, relax, and let's get started. All right, so I am going to be recreating a look that I did for work last week that I got a ton of compliments on. And it's just like a nice pastel look that I put together uh, that I thought would be perfect for summertime. And I'm gonna be using the Spotlight palette from You Can Be. I got this off Amazon for about 12 or $13. And this is the color story. It's just a beautiful rainbow color story, very inexpensive palette, but the shadows work beautifully. Um, I'm gonna start off with this shade here. This is just kind of a light, uh, aqua shade and I'm going to be putting that down towards the front part of my transition area kind of just a little bit above my crease. I do have all of my face makeup on. I have primed my eyelids. I will have all of that listed in the description box. I don't want to bore anybody to tears. Um, so yeah let's get started. Um, I'm going to be using this little brush this little blending brush here from BH Cosmetics and just dipping into the little aqua shade here. Tap that off and then like I said I'm just going to be kind of placing that down right towards the front of my uh, eyelid here kind of just a little bit above my crease um, and I really am getting into more uh, pastel shades um, just kind of lighter shades I think they're just really pretty and um, I also have the uh, Toko, Tokyo pardon me Harajuku palette from um, Nomad that I want to create a look with too that's a gorgeous gorgeous palette and I love it so I'm just basically just kind of, you know, laying that down so you can see it really well. Um, and then just kind of making sure that it's blended a little bit here. I'm going to do some more blending as I go, but uh, definitely just kind of getting the color laid down, kind of pushing it on there. Um, and as I said in my intro, I uh, could make an Olympic sport out of falling down. Um, I have done it multiple times. Um, absolutely thoroughly embarrassed myself. And I don't know, I just thought it'd be funny to share those little moments with you guys. Why not? Uh, just kind of put put it all out there. Um, the first time that I really, like, remember really biting it was, well, let me think here. I was a junior in high school. Um, and after football games, high school football games, we would go to the pizza parlor. Um, there was actually two pizza parlors, like, directly across the street from each other. And we'd, like... Kind of just go back and forth between the two. I don't remember why, but we did. So uh, this one night, <clears throat> we were at one pizza parlor having dinner with my friend's parents. And then we were going to race over and hang out with our friends at the other pizza parlor. And rather than just going to the crosswalk, we were just going to sprint across the street. And I mean, this is a pretty major street. I mean, it's one of the more major streets in the city that I live in. Um, and it, you know, it was right after a football game, so probably not the smartest idea, but hey, that, that really has nothing to do with the story. So I'm running across the street, and there's the street, and then the curb, and then the sidewalk. And you know how like most curbs have those little cutouts in them, like the little square cutouts so that the rain you know, that gets on the street can kind of drain off? I am running as fast as I can to get across the street, and my left foot goes right into one of those little uh, cutouts in the curb. But my body momentum is going forward, so I just absolutely hit the deck and my left foot was firmly implanted 
into this little cutout in the curb. So I totally rolled my ankle. <laughs> I spent about an hour in the pizza parlor with an ice bag on my ankle. Ended up in an orthotic boot for about eight to 12 weeks. Um, at first they thought they might have to do surgery because uh, I'd torn some ligaments. Well, I don't know if I tore them. I pull, pulled them pretty bad. And my ankle swelled up to the size of a watermelon very quickly and uh, was hor horribly bru bruised. My mom was so irritated with me. She was like, what did you do to yourself when I got home? So that was, uh, that was the first one. And then I'm gonna clean this brush off and I think that's pretty good for now. I might go back and adjust. Uh, but I'm go now I'm gonna go into this shade here, this kind of light purple shade. I'm gonna put that towards the outside of my lid. Um, and then, uh, this one's a great one. The summer before my senior year of high school, we used to have a semi-pro baseball team in town called the Emeralds. And, you know, they were pretty decent. I mean, they had better years than others, but, you know. Um, and my birthday's in July. So two of my friends got the three of us tickets to go to the uh, Emeralds game. And my mom had gotten me the cutest pair of white jeans. They were kind of tight and like ankle length and they were just adorable. And I thought I was so cute. And so I had those on and like this cute little t-shirt. And then um, I was also wearing white saltwater sandals, which I don't know if you're familiar with what those are, but they're just kind of like um, just flat soled little like leather sandals. And they have like a little strap that um, kind of comes around your ankle and buckles. And uh, <laughs> So probably not the best shoes to wear when you know you're going to be walking down like wooden benches. I'll explain that in a second. Um, so anyway, we go over to Civic Stadium um, that actually no longer exists now. Uh, a few years ago, a 10-year-old and a 12-year-old boy were playing with matches and burned the whole thing to the ground. That is not a phone call you want to get as a parent. Because um, it was, you know, pretty historical uh, building where we live. Um, it had been around for umpteen years and uh, many a baseball game were played there. And it was just this really cool wooden like stadium. It was awesome. Um, but yeah, no longer there, which is sad. Um, so anyway, we go to the stadium and we're walking down these like, there's like wooden bleachers, backless bleachers that everybody would sit in. Um, but then there were like bucket seats that were towards the field that were like the fancy seats. And my friends had gotten us tickets to sit there, which was really cool. So we're walking down the wooden steps and decide, oh, we'll just cut through the bleachers. We'll just walk down the bleachers. Yeah, great. And as we're walking, we noticed these like three or four college age young men. And, you know, we thought we were cool feeling ourselves. We're like, oh, look at those boys. Yeah. And so we were kind of like, you know, making eyes and thinking we were cool. I, I think they had no interest in us whatsoever. We were probably way too young for them. But hey, um, and so we start walking down and I'm about maybe two benches in front of these guys, right? And my friends are like one or two benches in front of me. So I'm kind of trailing behind them. And all of a sudden my left foot just slips right out from under me. And I'm going down and I just wham, butt first, right into the bleacher. Just wham. And I can hear the guys behind me kind of giggling, which I don't blame them because I probably would have too if I was them. <laughs> um, the shadows do take a little bit of building up. They're not the most pigmented, to the, pigmented in the world. However, they're, I think they're gorgeous. So you just kind of have to keep building and I'm fine with that. So yeah, um, and I really enjoy this palette. So um, I kind of get carried away with the story and then forget to talk about the makeup. <laughs> Whoops. Um, but yeah, I'm enjoying this. I enjoyed it the last time I created this look too. I just thought it turned out really nicely. So, and they're really easy to blend. Really, really easy. So now I'm going to go into a shimmer. Um, I'm going to grab a different brush. Uh, I'm going to grab my little packing uh, brush from Beely. And I'm going to go into, let's see, what shade did I use? I'm going to go into this shade here, this kind of purple shimmer. Um, it's not kind of purple, it's purple shimmer. I have a habit of saying kinda, I don't know why. Um, so I obviously stand up from falling on my butt on the bleacher and I start like walking towards my friends. Now they have no clue that I've fallen. I'm like, you guys, you guys. And they finally kind of turn around and they're like, oh, oh. And I told them I'd fallen. They were like, oh. And I notice that these guys are now howling with laughter. I mean, they're not just giggling, they're like totally cracking up. And I'm like, what's so funny? I already fell. What's the big deal? But okay, so we get down to where we're gonna sit and 
one of my friends is in front of me and one of my friends is behind me. And the friend behind me says, oh my God, don't move. Take my sweatshirt and tie it around your waist. And I'm like, why? She's like, because when you fell down, you landed on a glob of mustard. <laughs> and it's right in between your cheeks, like right in the seam of your pants. Like, I mean, you can tell what that looked like. And I'm like, no. And she's like, oh yeah, I'm telling you. It's exactly what happened. And I'm going, well, now I know why they were laughing so hard. <laughs> so I take her sweatshirt, tie it around my waist. I mean, now my whole outfit's blown, right? Totally blown. And I ended up going into the bathroom at one point to kind of assess the damage. And I mean, it was bad. <laughs> it was like this huge, big yellow, just right in the, right down the center of my butt. It was great. So that was that fall. Um, then I was pretty good for a while. I think I made it through the majority of college without falling. I'm sure I probably did a couple times, but nothing really stands out to me. Um, and I think actually with my next shimmer, I'm going to spray the brush because... I'm trying, since I have my face makeup on, I'm trying to avoid having a bunch of fallout under my eyes. So I think I'm gonna spray the next color. So I'm just kind of adding a little bit more of that purple down just to kind of make it a little bit more uh, vibrant. Um, so then, let's see, I remember, the next real fall that I remember was, I'm just gonna clean that brush off a little bit. And then I'm gonna go into this kind of pinkish shimmer right here. Um, Kind of like a magenta shimmer and i'm going to put a little bit of that on my brush and then i'm going to take my setting spray and i'm going to give it a little spritz and then i'm going to lay that down just right in front of that purple shimmer uh oh that's pretty i loved how this turned out and i everybody was so like complimentary to me at work i was like wow thanks guys um my mom and sydney and i sydney was probably 12 at the time <clears throat> had gone out to lunch together and as we were leaving the restaurant, I was wearing shoes I had no business wearing. I've had four back surgeries. At this point, I think I'd only had two, um, but I wasn't supposed to wear heels at all. I wear, was wearing these kind of like wedge heeled sandals and it just <laughs> rolled my ankle and hit the deck again in this restaurant right behind this guy who was very sweet. <laughs> but, uh, and then the restaurant was just all over me, like, are you okay? And they had me fill out paperwork. I mean, I think they thought I was gonna sue. It's like, no, no, I did this myself. And my daughter has this horrible, nasty habit of laughing hysterically when somebody falls in front of her. And luckily she kept it together because, you know, her mother, I think she knew I would not be too happy with that. Um, plus I think she thought I was hurt, which I wasn't, but I mean, it was embarrassing. Cause I mean, my falls are not graceful as evidenced by this next story. So the next fall, um, was about, I don't know, maybe five years ago. Um, I was on, went to Verizon to exchange my phone. I needed a new phone. Cause you know, they last for about two years and then they just go to shit. So I went to Verizon to exchange my phone and I love the shimmer so much. Isn't that pretty? I just, I really like having like a gradient. Um, but I really wanted this kind of like the turquoisey teal shade to kind of pop. So I thought using kind of opposite colors would be cool. Um, so I go to Verizon and the Verizon store is at the local mall here and you don't have to go through the mall to get to the Verizon. You just basically park in the parking lot and walk up to the door. Sounds simple enough, right? So I'm in the parking lot walking towards the Verizon. Now what I don't realize, cause I don't think I'd ever been to this store before. No, I hadn't. Um, is that there's like this little raised up sidewalk that's right in front of Verizon's door. It's, you know, pretty wide, but there's like this little lip that you kind of like step up over to get on the sidewalk, which I didn't know existed. Um, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into this shimmer here. Um, I swatched that shimmer in my silvers uh, video where I swatched my favorite silvers. So I'm gonna be using this on the inner part of my lid. And I'm also gonna be spraying that too. I did clean off my brush a little bit with my color switch. Um, so I'm walking towards Verizon, the front door. And as I'm walking, these two gentlemen walk out of Verizon. Ooh, that is so pretty. That is so pretty. I love, I just love how this looks. <laughs> I love it. Um, every so often I'll do a look and I'm like, dang, good job, girl. Good job, you. <laughs> um, 
And these two gentlemen walk out and they played basketball for our local university. So they were, you know, there's like verging on celebrity status. So I'm like, oh my gosh. You know, I knew instantly my son, I couldn't wait to tell my son I saw these guys. And I'm trying to think like, do I ask them for their autographs? So I just leave them alone. I mean, maybe they just want like a nice day to themselves. And I don't want to act like a complete crazy idiot. But I mean, I was like, ah, this is amazing. So I'm just thinking about if I'm going to ask them for their autograph, and I keep walking towards the door and the greeter, the woman who, you know, opens the door and asks what you want, opens the door, she starts to say hi. And right at that moment, I'm right at that lip and my toes hit that lip in the concrete and I just start going, start going down. And you know how everything just kind of slows down, even though it's happening within seconds. Um, I started pinwheeling my arms like this, like I was swimming in the air to try to like, I don't know, slow me down. I don't know why I did that, but I did. And I ended up kind of turning my body to the side and just falling on my shoulder and my hip. And I ended up with this, these horrible bruises on my hip, my knee, uh, my shoulder. I scraped up my elbow, scraped up my knee. I pulled my groin, which if you've never pulled your groin, be thankful because it's one of the most painful things I've ever done. <laughs> Like, it was right up there with childbirth. I mean, I'm not kidding. It was awful. So one of the guys that's standing there, the basketball player, starts laughing hysterically, cannot control himself. The other guy has the presence of mind to, like, come over, extend me his hand, help me up. Oh, ma'am, are you okay? You know, we fall down on the basketball court all the time. I'm like, Pfft. No, you don't, but okay, thank you. <laughs> and the woman that was greeting me is just standing there with this look on her face, like, you know, like she had no idea what to do. She just basically said, are you okay? And I'm like, I'm fine. I said, uh, my pride's more wounded than anything else. Um, even though I could barely walk because my groin was all screwed up. It was horrible. Um, so yeah, that was a mess. And then as I'm walking like towards the door, I look up into the store and there's like 15 people in the store just standing there staring at me like, <laughs> you know, they couldn't believe what they'd just seen. And then as I go sit down uh, with this woman to talk to her about getting a new phone, she says, well, let's hope nobody had their phones out because you're going to be the next YouTube sensation. And I was like, yeah, great. <laughs> and I remember after I got home and told my husband what had happened, he said, uh, well, we should probably get on YouTube and search for old lady falls in Verizon parking lot in Oregon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably should. Okay, so I think that looks pretty good. I am going to add, just kind of go over that blue shade just a little bit more just to make sure it's nice and defined and just kind of make sure I take that kind of edge off, uh, kind of blend it better together because I don't really like how that like sh stark edge looks with the shimmers. So again, just going to go back into actually, hold on, because I think I have purple on there and I am notorious for putting shades together when I don't want to. So let's get that cleaned off and then let's go back into that blue shade, like I said, and just kind of lay a little bit more of that down. And then I am going to grab just a clean brush uh, at the very end here and just kind of go around the edge of that, sh uh, not shimmer, mats, just to make sure they're nice and diffused. Um, but yeah, I've had some doozies. And it took, it probably took me a month for that groin pull to heal. That was just awful. Uh, I didn't know women could pull their groin. And that's no, that's kind of a ridiculous thing to say. But I, I just, I don't know. I had never done it before. So it was new to me. I couldn't believe it. I was like, this hurts. Ooh, ooh. Um, and then the last real fall that I can remember, um, I was with my husband at a restaurant. This was probably two and a half years ago. So I'm doing good. I've made it two and a half years without falling. Yes, uh, knock on wood. So um, we had gone to a restaurant. It was like a buffet type restaurant. And we were like walking down little steps to go get our salads. And I hit the tiled floor. Now granted, the tile floor was a little slick, but I mean, and next thing I knew, I was on my hands and knees and he like didn't even know I was on the ground. He like bumped into the back of me with his knees. He's like, what are you doing? I'm like, I fell. He's like, oh my God, are you all right? I'm like, yeah. He's like, jeez. And, you know, we go for walks pretty much every Friday and Saturday night. And uh, a lot of times, like, I'll catch, like, a, a jag in the sidewalk. Like, the crack will be off-centered or uneven. And my toe will hit it. And he'll have to grab me by my elbow. And he's like, oh, I hate it when you do that. It makes my adrenaline go through the roof. <laughs> like, I'm sorry, babe. Oh, so, yeah. I just thought it would be fun to share with you guys my... 
klutziness, um, my, uh, my falls, because <laughs> I've had a few. Um, do any of you share that same trait with me? Do any of you fall down um, unbeknownst to yourself <laughs> that you're just gonna bite it hard? Uh, luckily, I have never like, you know, really done a lot of damage to myself. I mean, you know, other than the groin pull, that was about the worst of it. Um, but yeah, it's just not fun at all. <laughs> and it's so embarrassing. I mean, I could not believe of all times for me to fall down at Verizon, it's in front of these two basketball players. Thank you. Awesome. So no, I did not ask them for their autograph. They probably have been like, no, no, no. Okay. I am going to find another brush, a clean brush. Let's see here. This one's just a little, I don't know, no name, just cute little blending brush that I have. Um, I'm just going to go around the outside edge here. Just kind of make sure that, uh, it's nice and blended out. And then I will go off camera and just kind of add the finishing touches, you know, liner and mascara and whatnot. And then I'll come back and show you what it looks like. And I hope you love it. And my falls have been the topic of many family dinners and or breakfasts or holiday gatherings. They wanna, let's talk about the time Erica fell down. <laughs> Which time? <laughs> Which time would you like to talk about, you guys? There's many, we can choose from many. All right, so I think I'm just gonna clean this up a little bit, add the finishing touches such as eyeliner, mascara, uh, put some stuff on my lips, and I will be right back to show you the finished look. So stay right where you are. All right, I'm back and this is the finished look. I really like how this look turned out. Like I said, I did this look uh, the other day when I went to work last week and um, got tons of compliments on it. So I just thought it would be really fun to recreate it for you guys. Um, it's summertime and this I think is a perfect look for summer. Just kind of fun pastel colors to put together and uh, I really enjoyed making this look. Um, there's a few things I wanted to go over with you quickly that I use in this look today. Um, I have two of the ColourPop Cream Gel Liners. This is the shade Amethyst Hour and this is Prance. I just love these so much. I rave about them in pretty much every video I do. And then on my upper lid, I use the Aurora Liquid Liner Felt Tip Liner in the shade Black. I think I got this either in an Ipsy or a Boxy Charm, and this is wonderful liquid liner. Definitely recommend checking these out. Um, and then on my for my mascara, I use the Big Papa from Wet n Wild. I just love this mascara. It's so inexpensive, and you can get it anywhere pretty much. Uh, Walmart, Target, Walgreens, uh, Amazon. I got this off Amazon, so yeah, perfect mascara. And then on my lips, I used a combination of the... Um, Lottie London Slay All Day Liquid Lipstick in the shade So Good. I love this stuff. Got this in an Ipsy and really enjoy using it. And then I got used the um, BH Cosmetics Liquid Lipstick in the shade Jacqueline. And uh, this is just a really nice formula. And I just thought this color looked good with the eye look. So I really appreciate you guys taking time out of your busy day or evening to sit down and watch my video. Watch me create this look. Listen to me talk about my falls. Like I said, if falling were an Olympic sport, I would have all the gold medals in the whole world. I would reign supreme. Um, it was just kind of fun to share some embarrassing moments with you guys. Um, I would love to hear yours. If you've had any uh, public falls or anything else that was embarrassing out in public, I'd love to hear about it. So please feel free to share in the comment section. Uh, if you've subscribed or if you would like to subscribe, please make sure to hit the notification bell. That way you're aware of all of my future uploads. Um, I hope to be seeing you guys soon in my next video. But in the meantime, take care, stay well, be happy, and I will see you soon. Bye.